Hello and welcome back to another lecture. In this lecture, we will use Terraform to create an IAM user. And these are some of the requirements we want the user to have. The first requirement is we want the user to have programmatic access. And the second requirement is we want the user to have an inline policy with get, put and delete permission that limits the user to two S3 buckets in our account. You can use any S3 bucket in your account to complete this tutorial. This tutorial is also very similar to a Jira tax that I've completed at work before. So I thought it would be a good idea to share with you. To start, the first thing I want you to do is open Visual Studio Code. Once you open Visual Studio Code, double click anywhere in here, and that is going to create a file for you. The next thing we will do is save this file. Select file and click save. Browse to the location you want to save the file. I'll save the file on my desktop and I'll call it IAM.TF. You can give the file any name you want. Make sure you have .TF at the end. Once you've given the file a name, click save. There you go. I have created my Terraform file and I called it IAM.TF. The next thing I want you to do is download and open the reference file I created for this tutorial in this video's description. This is the reference file we will use to complete this tutorial. What I want you to do is select everything in this reference file. I'll press Ctrl A. Once you've select everything, right click to copy, then close this, then come back to your IAM file and paste it in there. Once you've pasted the syntax in your Terraform file, scroll up. The first syntax we have here will allow us to authenticate to our AWS environment. Before you can create any resource in your AWS environment, first you have to authenticate to your AWS environment. To authenticate to your AWS environment, first you have to specify provider and the cloud provider we want to authenticate to is AWS. The first argument we have here is the region and that is the region we want to work in. For this region, we are going to enter US East 1. So in here, in double quote, I'll type US East 1. The next argument is profile. And profile is the name profile that I've configured on my computer that has the access key and secret access key that I will use to authenticate to my AWS environment. If you don't know how to configure a named profile on your computer, I already made a tutorial on that. I will leave the link below. First, you have to configure a named profile on your computer and you can use that named profile to authenticate to your AWS environment. For the named profile that I've configured on my computer, I called it Terraform user. So I'll enter that in here. Once you have entered the named profile, the next resource will create an IAM user. This is the Terraform resource type to create an IAM user and this is the reference name I've given it. The argument we need to enter here is the name of our IAM user. For this IAM user, I'll give it a name. In double quote, give your IAM user any name you want. Once you've given your IAM user a name, the next resource will allow us to specify whether we want this IAM user to have programmatic access. This is the resource type to give this IAM user programmatic access and this is the reference name I've given it. For the argument user, we will enter the IAM user we want to give programmatic access. We created the IAM user here that we want to give programmatic access. So what we will do is copy this resource type and the reference name. Once you copy it, paste it here. Remove the double quotes between them. Add a period. Come all the way to the end. Add another period and type name. So here we are referencing the name of the IAM user we created up here. The next syntax here will create an inline policy. And remember the requirement for the inline policy. We want this IAM user to only be able to put, get, and delete objects in two specific S3 buckets in our AWS account. To create an IAM policy, this is what I recommend you do. Let's go to the management console. 
In the Management Console, type IAM in the search box and select IAM under Services. On your IAM dashboard on the left side, select Policies and click Create Policy here. Under the Visual Editors, this is what we will use to get the IAM policy we need. To start, the first thing we have to do is click the drop down under service. And in this search box, we are going to type S3. Once you type S3, select S3. Once we've selected the service, the next thing we need to do is add the actions we want this user to have. And remember, we want this IAM user to be able to get, put, and delete any objects in two specific S3 buckets in our AWS account. To do that, we are going to click the drop down under read, then scroll down. The first one we are going to look for is get object, which is here. Select get object. Then under right, click the drop down again. Then let's scroll down. The other permission we are looking for is put object, which is right here. Select it. These are in alphabetical order. And the last one we want is delete object. Let's go to D here. Delete object is here. I'll select it. And there you go. We have selected three permissions. If you look up here, under read, we select get object. And under write, we select delete object and put object. Then let's scroll down. The next thing we need to do is select this drop down under resources. Under the resources section, this is where we specify the S3 buckets we want to limit this IAM user to. So here, make sure you select specific, then click add ARN. In here, we will enter the name of our S3 bucket. So let's get the name of our S3 bucket. You can use any S3 bucket you have in your account. I'm going to click cancel for now. I'm going to right click up here and click open link in new tab. Then I'll go to that tab. In the search box, type S3. Then select S3 under services. These are the S3 bucket I have in my account. And I'll use the first two S3 bucket for this tutorial. You can use any S3 bucket in your account. I'll select the first one. All you have to do is copy the name. I'll select everything here and copy the name. Then come back to my IAM Management Console. Under Resources, click Add ARN again. Then paste the name of your S3 bucket in here. What this means now is we want this user to be able to get, put, and delete objects in this S3 bucket. And you can also limit this user to a specific object in this S3 bucket. We don't want to limit this user to any object in this S3 bucket, so we are going to click Any. So this means that this user can put, get, and delete any object in this S3 bucket. Click Add. Remember, we want to limit the user to two specific S3 buckets. So let's add the second one. I'll click Add ARN. Then I'll go back to my S3 console. I'll go back to the buckets. And I'll select the second S3 bucket. I'll copy the name here. Then come back to my IAM Management Console, paste the bucket name in here. Then in this bucket, we want the user to be able to get, put, and delete any object in it. So here, click Any and click Add. And this is what the policy looks like. The service is S3. The action is Get Object, Delete Object, and Put Object. And the specific resource we want to limit this user to are these two buckets. So once you've created your IAM policy in the visual editor, the next thing you need to do is come to the JSON tab and you will see what that policy looks like in JSON. This is what we will add to our Terraform file. I'm going to drag this here. All we need to do now is under actions in our Terraform file, we need to add these three items. So here, press enter. And here we are going to add these three items. The first one is S3 put object 
copy everything with the comma and paste it here. When you paste the item here, one thing I like to do is press backspace up here and press enter again to make sure it is indented properly. The next thing we will add is the S3 get object. So I'll select everything here, copy it and press enter here and paste it there. The last one we are going to add is the S3 delete object. Select everything here, copy it, come down here, press enter and paste it here. That's all we need to do for the actions. And on that resource, we are going to do the same. So here, press enter. All you need to do is copy the ARN here, copy the first one and paste it here. Copy the second one. Then press enter here and paste it. This is all you need to do to create your inline policy. I sometimes struggle with creating policy, but using the visual editor helps. So anytime you need to create a policy and you don't know how to create it, come to the visual editor, create your policy there, then switch to the JSON tab to see what the policy looks like. Then you can add the policies in here. We have add the IAM policy. I'm going to maximize this. The next resource will attach the IAM policy we just created to the IAM user we created up here. So let's scroll down. The first argument we will enter is the name of the IAM policy. Let's call it S3 get put delete policy. I'll call it this. You can also call the policy any name you want. The next argument we will enter is the name of the IAM user. We created our IAM user up here and we referenced the name here. So I'm going to select this, copy it, come back down here and paste it here. The last argument we will enter is the IAM policy we want to attach to this user. This is the IAM policy. So what I want you to do is copy everything from data to here, select it and copy it. Then come back down here, paste it there. Remove the double quotes here, add a period between them. Remove the double quotes here, add a period between them. Come all the way to the end, add another period and type JSON, J-S-O-N. This is all we need to do to create an IAM user with inline policy. And we limited this user's permission to get, put and delete objects in two specific S3 bucket. So all we need to do now is scroll all the way up. Remember the name of my IAM user is this. When we started this tutorial, I saved the Terraform file on my desktop. But a good practice is to always save your Terraform file in a folder. So the first thing I'm going to do is create a folder on my computer. I'll open my file explorer. Once you've opened your file explorer, I'll go to my desktop. And you can see the IAM file here. It is just sitting here. It is always good to put it in a folder. So I'll right click here to create a new folder. I'll call the folder IAM. Once you call the folder IAM, the next thing we are going to do is put this IAM file we created on our desktop into that folder. So what I'll do first is first I'll save it here and I'll close it for now. Then I'll come back to my file explorer. I'm going to drag this IAM into this IAM folder. So now my Terraform file is in this folder. This is always a good practice. I'll close this folder. So now in Visual Studio Code, we can open that folder. To open that folder, we are going to click the Explorer here. We will click Open Folder. Browse to wherever your project folder is. My project folder is on my desktop and it is the IAM. I'll select it and click Select Folder. This is the best way to work with Terraform. Always make sure your Terraform file is in a folder. I'll close this. Then I'll select my Terraform file here and you can see all my syntax is here. The next thing I need to do is open the terminal. 
I'm going to select terminal and I'm going to click new terminal. Once you open the terminal, make sure the terminal open to the directory where your Terraform file is in. If you look, my Terraform file is in the IAM folder and that is what the terminal open to here, the IAM folder. So basically what I'm trying to say is whatever directory your Terraform file is in, that is the directory you should open your terminal to. Once you've opened your terminal into the directory you stored your Terraform file, the first thing we will do is initialize with our AWS environment. Here we are going to type Terraform in it. Once you type Terraform in it, press enter. It is now initializing with my AWS environment. I'll give it some time to finish initializing. And there you go. I have successfully initialized with my AWS environment. The next thing we need to do is create this IAM user in our AWS account. To do that, we will type Terraform apply. Once you type Terraform apply, press enter. Once you type Terraform apply and press enter, first it is going to give you the plan of the resources it will create in your AWS account. And if you scroll up here, you will see the plan. These are the plan of the resources Terraform will create in my AWS account. Once you review the plan, here it is asking us, do we want to approve this? We will type yes and press enter. And there you go. Terraform has successfully created the IAM user with inline policy in my AWS account. Let's go to the management console to verify. In the management console, I'm going to cancel here. Then we are still in the IAM dashboard or you can type IAM in here and select IAM under services. In your IAM dashboard, select users. And there you go. You can see the IAM user we just created in Terraform. It is right here. To review this user's permission, select the user's name. Under summary, select the permissions tab. And here you can see the inline policy we created. The name we gave it is S3 get put delete policy. You can see here it is inline policy under policy type. If you select the drop down under this policy, Let's scroll down. You can see the policy we created in Terraform is here. This is how you create a user with inline policy and you can limit that user to specific resources in your AWS account. The next thing we need to do is delete this user from our AWS account. So let's go back to Visual Studio Code. In Visual Studio Code, to delete that user from your AWS account, we are going to type Terraform destroy. Once you type Terraform destroy, press enter. When you type Terraform destroy and press enter, first it is going to show you the plan of what it is going to do. Here it is telling you anything you see in the red, it means it will delete it from your AWS account. Once you review the plan and you are happy with it, down here we are going to type yes and press enter. And there you go. We have successfully deleted the IAM user we just created from our AWS account. Let's go back to the management console. In the management console, I will refresh here. And there you go. You can see that user doesn't exist. I'll go back to users. And the user is no longer there. This is how you create an IAM user using Terraform. If you have any questions or there's any part of this lecture you don't understand, please leave your comments below. Thank you and I'll see you in the next lecture. Bye.